Okay, so it's me. Your Instagram friend turned YouTube mentor. Wait. I'm still at the hello part. I thought skipping the hello would make this part easier. Hmm. So I um, have talked about mainly how I want to speak about um, different ways that I find and have found uh, work to keep me creative. It's always going to be a thing. I had said before that I had gone a long time without painting. You can just go watch those videos. I'm not going to get back into it because we all know it's going to take a lot longer than we think, I think. I thought I was going to may have some sort of order to it. I may make like a list and go into it like, you know, the steps I took doing what worked and it's worked and going through it video by video. I don't have time for lists right now. I gotta get back to Jada. So I'm just gonna talk. Okay, so the first thing really that came to my mind that I was thinking as I was setting up was social media. This is a huge part of art now, really just lives now. Um, Obviously, you guys are on it if you're on it. I think I'm going to just specifically talk about Instagram because that's what I've chosen as my platform. Main platform. I'm going to go through what worked for me. And like literally, that's what life is, right? We like, we learn from each other. Doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone. Maybe you can walk away with something. Maybe not in this case. We're just going to have to see. Okay, so Instagram. Um, before I open okay, this Instagram account that I have that most of you follow me on because that's probably why you're here. I can't see another reason. I only started that a little over a year ago. Before that, art was very personal and sacred. As far as painting goes, I shared other forms of art. Um, painting, I like to keep to myself. I wasn't scared to show it. It was just something special for me, like a diary. That's how I wanted to keep it. Because all the creative places I've been and things I've done and mediums and everything, it's one that has stayed consistent throughout my time being here on this earth, basically, since I picked up a crayon. Since I picked up a pinny brush. Whatever. I drew a crayon before that, I'm sure. Okay, so I think with um, social media, it can either really help us in, like, ways we can't even imagine. I mean, before who would see your art as the people who you could physically go and show it to. It's amazing right now. We can stay in our houses and have the world see our art. We can be, it's a big deal, right? So everyone is like, yeah, social media. Also, everyone knows the negative side effects of the comparing yourself to other people, feeling inadequate, feeling down when you're not getting enough likes or enough followers, uh, that sort of stuff. When I started actually showing people my art before I was even on social media, I was very cautious to not quickly start up an art account. I have had accounts and web pages to do with photography, digital art, and the hats I used to make. I started letting people see my art in person, which was a big step for me. In 2017, I started an Instagram account and going into it, I basically 
knew how important painting was to me and that I'm finally painting again. And I went into it with a plan. Nothing was worth it to me to lose the joy and the peace, the serenity, the inspiration, the excitement, the sanity, the calm, the everything um, that I get from painting. Not, not money, not followers, not um, what like being known, my art being seen. I'm having a stretch of time that I did not paint at all because I was like, like I said before, just like paralyzed with fear. I was so caught up. There's so much stuck up blah, there. I will tell you about it sometime again. I still haven't because I'm going out of order. That's just how we're going to do it. <sighs> I had to make a plan. And this is something I'm used to in life because there are many things that I have um, gone into and overcome that I literally just take day by day, make plans, um, go into it, figure it out. I'm going to bring us back to like, I don't want to start saying like you, you, you. I do want to talk from my personal experience, but first the question that I'd want someone to think, okay, I'd want myself to think is like, what is my reason? Why do I want to put my art on social media? There are many. I know I, I follow quite a few accounts and I know some people it's just part of their, you know, family and um, food pictures and art. And that's great. Not a problem with that. Some people it's just kind of repetitively showing like their same pieces over and over again just to keep keep it up. Um, I know I've heard, I've never been involved in galleries, but I've heard from places like galleries when you look at your stuff or something, don't quote me on this, you guys know this better than I do. Um, like unless you have a certain amount of followers, following, that kind of stuff. I think that's fucking crazy, but I can, I have listened to people like stress about their amount of followers because they want this art thing so badly to work out and that is what that is almost like a monetary monetary it's almost like a value like yeah like money is followers now right likes things like that uh, I can see why people get like get on there and that's the goal get followers get likes that kind of thing also for the people who aren't trying to build up necessarily a following for business wise we all know the psychological effect it has on us the reward system the affirmation the like 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 where one month we'll be like yes 100 likes that's awesome oh my goodness i'm a superstar and then like six months down the line we'll be like like, it's like barely 800. What's wrong? Oh, that I knew that I was, that was gonna be a bad post. That you know, I hate that work. You guys know what I'm talking about. That was my acting skills because that's what I do too. And I do it all. Well, clearly, I don't act. What are my motives? Why do I want to be on social media? Okay, so for me, I wanted. For me, it actually was pushing myself to feel uncomfortable and to see if I can get through that. That's what my painting journey has been. And since I'm going out of order, I feel like I need to backtrack. I need to do it so quickly, but um, all the way from painting to showing people my painting to selling my painting were all goals I had to push myself out of my comfort zone but I was also okay each time to go back if it made me less likely to do art or to like it, um, to paint. So opening account that the world can see, 
where it was just another little challenge to myself. I mean, <laughs> it's really what I do with my life is I give myself little challenges and see what, like, let's conquer that. I think that's awesome. Um, okay, so I did that and I had a goal to keep it going. Um, I started in January, I had a goal to keep it going to spring because I imagined by summer I wouldn't want to keep Instagramming and blah, blah, blah. And also it always helped me get through winters, which we know for me aren't. Winters are the antichrist. Hear me. And I don't mean that seriously. Okay, so once you figured out your motives, let's say it's business. Let's say your main goal in life is you want to sell art. Well, then going on to social media and building followers and or building a following, getting likes, uh, working at it. I see people working really hard at Instagram. The people who go and mass follow and unfollow as much as I fucking can't stand it. I think, holy shit, how much, <laughs> how much time could they spend painting or doing their art? If they just stop this bullshit, I'm not going to go on that right now, but it's an option. I think artists should stick together and we're not going to go there. We're going to stay on this path and maybe go like this and this, but we're not going to take this one right now. I gotcha. So yeah, that would be your main goal. Get a following, get likes, get your stuff out there, get it seen. Okay. Your energy might go into that more than art. Um, it might be a bit more stressful. You might have to put your art aside for a bit. Um, most freelance stuff is like 95% business and then 5% you end up doing what you actually want to do. Like, okay, well, photography, I found that. Um, see, for me, I have actually, in fact, if anything, I have wanted nothing to do with art business. I didn't even like those two words in the same, yeah. I still don't. Gross. We'll bleep it out if we have to. Um, I am so tempted to jump around right now because like my brain wants to go and around and you know what, I might just end up doing that and this might all be what it is, but because um, it might not flow naturally if I try to go in order and that's what I'm trying to do right now, which is why I'm pausing a lot. Uh, to try to stay on track, but that's not natural for me. So, like, let's just, let's just. We never know what we're gonna expect. You have a choice. You can watch this and not. I'm gonna get to the point in one of these videos. Okay, so going on Instagram, I had no desires on my art. I was selling it locally through like my private Facebook page and that was it and people would ask oh are you selling can I get this and I nope I'd get asked about commissions um anything that had to do with shipping or had to do with anything that I wasn't painting I was just like hard no all right that's the weird cough yeah my goal was to push myself um i don't even think it was so much to share my art so what i did going into it and this is what i can talk about because this is what i know and this is what this is where i'm going to go with it i'm not going to go with the other end of building followers and stuff like that okay um um i need to put this together so oh, bad thing. I can't multitask and do it. See, I want to find things that I can do while I'm filming. I have to accept that I have to just focus on. In case you've forgotten, lid, paper towel, parchment, office clips. Art hack. Okay, so my reason and my motive for going was to push myself was to find um also some people in the art community meet some people uh that sort of thing it was 
pretty simple. I had no expectations, but I was not new to social media and I was by no means a stranger to the fact that it could really mess up my fun with painting. It didn't matter what I was doing on social media, it still had that effect. People don't like the picture of my coffee, what? Okay. And now I'm putting gum back into my mouth. Oh boy. Why is it me choose for that? So I knew that um, social media could definitely be very discouraging. I think a lot of us have the same personalities as far as um, like artists, American musician. Why is that the only thing that my brain pulled out right now? Because whether, yeah, whatever you do, whatever your art is, can very easily, um, its value to you and what it's adding to your life can quickly and very easily be changed by how it is, um, well, what's happening on social media with it, how it's being and like taken by the people that are following you. This was my first point. I think the most frustrating thing right now is I don't understand music and copyrights and YouTube. Okay, I understand it. I don't want to use it. I have a hard time seeing in silence and talking in silence. So, can somebody explain it to me? It's probably simple, like just don't use it. But if it's in the background, you can barely hear it. I have some like SoundCloud royalty free stuff. It's not getting my brain really ready, YouTube ready. I don't know if you can hear it. I fucking hope you can't. <laughs>